Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Shopify with HubSpot. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at shopify.com or log into our existing account. Even though you can make some integrations straight through Shopify, you won't be, you won't be able to uh, create this one with HubSpot straight away. So we are going to need the help of the third party app. In this case, I chose automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, let's go to integrations on the top side of our screen and move over to see all categories, the uh, bottom left part of this pop-up window. Now uh, in app integrations, we want to pick the first, we have to pick the first app we want to integrate. So we are going to start with Shopify. As we are here, we have to pick the counterpart, which will be HubSpot. There are some popular integrations that we can uh, pick from. So uh, if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with Shopify. So we have to scroll down a bit. Click on, for example, abandoned cart or new customer, but let's stick with the first one. Same goes for actions. You have to scroll down and you need to pick HubSpot first. So let's go like add or, uh, or, add or update a contact, but you obviously can pick whichever you want. The last thing we have to do is click on try it now button. We get redirected and basically ask to log in or register to our automate.eo account. And we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is a quite similar app to automate.eo, but it works slightly different. Once we create uh, an account at Zapier.com, we want to go to the top left corner and create a Zap. Once we click there, we get redirected and yet again, we have to start with a trigger. The trigger will start at Shopify like this. Our trigger event will be a new customer. Continue. Now we have to, uh, yeah, new customer because I said like we are going to stick to the first one. Continue. Now we have to pick an account which will be Shopify. Continue. And now we can test our trigger. On the second action, as you probably thought, we want to go with a HubSpot. We also have to pick the action even manually, so create a deal, continue. And last thing is we have to log in to our HubSpot account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.